Oh, just for the record, just because I'm wearing a shirt today doesn't mean I'm opposed to servicing yards topless. It's just, you don't want to know where I had to hang this mic and it was really uncomfortable. All right, so the crazy part is I'm supposed to be retired. I have a Jeep that I've wanted my whole life. I have the model that I've wanted for a couple decades. It's done the way I want it, 100%. I got me my wife who's in bed on a Sunday morning where I should be. And instead, I have an old ass piece of shit snapper mower with a bad drive line loaded up in the back of my dream vehicle with a weed eater and a blower. And I'm gonna go service a customer for you guys. Because you guys want me to keep cutting grass. You guys keep boohoo crying every time I say I'm done, I'm retired. You guys, I love you guys. So I'm gonna go out here, I'm gonna cut this yard. This is the yard that I did a month ago. Spent three weeks for the backyard, four weeks for the front yard. And uh, I stopped by there last week and asked him if he wanted me to do his yard. And he asked if I'd come back this week. Now he is gonna pay me. I'm gonna get 50 bucks to do the front and backyard. We're gonna film some of it. And uh, yeah. Now I can see I'm gonna have to redo the drive line in this snapper mower. Cause I really like this mower. It's heavy, solid, got a good engine on it. And I, I like the drive line that's on it. Um, but the bearings are going bad and they keep, it keeps sticking and you lose the ability to, um, to self-propulsion. You lose the self-propulsion. Now I could bring my battery mower, which is super lightweight. Um, but this yard's gonna be pretty rough. I mean, we're talking about the freaking, the last week of July and the entire month so far of August in the Southeast that this yard has not been cut. Uh, so I figured I better bring the snapper and struggle through it even with the bad drive line. So what you gotta do is I gotta beat on the drive line sometimes to get the bearing line back up. So hopefully I'm gonna get a mower for review. A uh, pretty nice one actually. And um, it's got a 209 cc engine on a 22 inch cutting deck, self-propelled three in one. So I'm in talks with the company right now and I'm trying to get it and I'd like to do the review and you know, that'd be great. So, and then, you know, I get to keep the mower, of course. Um, so yeah, anyways, I, um, I changed over my other channel. All right, so the Dan's Vlog Gaming is no longer Dan's Vlog Gaming. It's now Dan's Reviews and I'm gonna be putting up a lot of my review videos there instead of on this channel. Because what I do is on this channel, I'll put up some review videos and then not even tell you guys I posted them. Because when you upload a video, you can check the box to send it to your subscribers and let them know that you put a video up. Well, some of the things that I review have nothing to do with you guys and I don't wanna inundate your inbox with garbage that you're not interested in and make you mad. So I've been checking the box to not um, notify you guys. So of course that makes very low views and it takes time for views to get caught up because of, you know, you have to be found now with people actually searching for what I review. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, I don't care. I've never been a view chaser. I've always been a quality creator trying to give you guys what you want. And I think after putting up some review videos this time around, I don't think you guys really care for them. Uh, so I'm not going to waste your time with them. And I'm going to put it up on Dan's Reviews. And then I'll let you guys know maybe in a post on this channel, you know, like a, uh, like a Facebook post, but it'll be on, the, on YouTube. And it'll be like, hey, boom, there's the thumbnail. Just posted an awesome review of whatever. Uh, that doesn't mean the product is awesome. It just means that my review was awesome. Um, and my goal when I do a review video 
is not to trash a product. I don't care if it's the biggest piece of crap. If this company sends me something to review, then I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it like it's the best thing since sliced bread like most people do. I can't stand that, it's so fake and phony. Well, I'm gonna let you know it's shortcomings, but I'm also gonna let you know how I went around the shortcomings because there might be a purpose for that product for you. For example, a review video I posted on this channel yesterday without notifying you of a lightweight 21 inch, 21 volt, dual sided hedge trimmer. It's actually pretty nice. It's just over a half inch cutting width. It's got a three amp hour battery, so it's gonna last a long time out in the garden using it. Um, but you know, it's not an ego. It's not a $250, $300 really nice one. It's uh, like a hundred bucks and then there's a 20% coupon. So it's like 80 bucks shipped to your door, cordless, no fuel required, dual bladed, half inch cut. Uh, but you guys probably don't want that because you want something a little bit heavier duty and stuff like that. But what if you do? What if you're you know, kind of up there in age and you can't hold something so heavy? That's where that product is awesome. And that's what we talk about. Um, obviously it's not a $500 steal, obviously. Uh, but I'm not here to trash and go, look at this piece of crap they sent me, blah, blah, blah. You can't use this because you can use it. And, and it's only like 80 bucks shipped to your door after you check the little coupon thing, you know? And it's like, that's a good thing, but I don't want to waste your time with it. That's the point. So let me knock on this guy's door and make sure he's cool with me doing the yard. And if so, we'll go ahead and get things set up. All right, it's a go. He said, go ahead and do it. So you see this yard is pretty tall. It's got a lot of that bahia grass stuff. So because the mower is acting up, the transmission sucks, we're gonna go ahead and do the mowing first and try to get done as much as we can. And uh, you might see me having to beat on the transmission a couple times, but hey, whatever. Today we're gonna to be using the steel BG50 handheld blower. The steel FS91R straight shaft string trimmer. And we're gonna be using the snapper push mower with self propulsion, of course. But we call it a push mower because it's a push style mower. They weigh about 556,843 and a half pounds. <clears throat> Good thing I weigh slightly more. Yeah. This bearing right in here will stop, stop like spinning on this shaft. So everything's working, but the shaft's not spinning to actually turn the transmission. That makes things kind of poopy. So you got to kind of beat on it, but I just put some uh, PB blaster on it. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I got to get new parts for it. Anyways, you guys ready to start cutting? Let's, uh, let's start in the front yard and see what we can do. As far as the height is concerned, uh, I got it in the third from the top, in the back from the highest setting, third from the top. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven settings. And I got, I'm in one, two, three for height, for all the way up going down. And in the front, I'm in four. So I got a little bit of a, of a reversed rake to it to try to help get these bahia grass seeds to get cut. Um, this thing's never easy to start. We're gonna mulch it with the plug. Gotta prime it up. And take it from there.
Okay, now you guys remember I did this yard with the weed eater about a month ago, right? And it was like twice as high as this. thought about bagging this yard to help get the clippings out from underneath the deck. Super slow. We're just going to do a basic cut today. Cut, edge, trim. That's it. We're going to edge with the weed eater and just try to get this yard knocked down. This should be the worst of it for the year. Today is August 21st, so going into September, everything's going to calm down a little bit. missing a lot.
stuff's kind of wet. Gotta keep going over it. All right, so I'm in the backyard now. We'll do a little bit of filming back here, and then we're gonna get on the weed eater.
This yard's, the backyard's cutting a lot easier than the front yard because the front yard had that tall bahia grass seed and the backyard's really just weed. So yeah, it's a little tall and a little thick, but it's not so bad. I'm really hoping I don't run out of fuel because that's all the fuel I brought is what's in the actual mower. And all I did is top off my weed eater and top off my blower. So uh, yeah, but I put mix in my mower. So if I run out of my mower, I'll take a little out of my blower, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. We're almost done. The transmission just acted up for the first time today. Hopefully we'll get through it, but if not, I can certainly weed eat the rest. Yo, I got something to show you. Look at that, buddy. I think that's called a banana spider. I don't know, does anybody know? I'm trying to get it to focus. Woo wee, that's a mean looking spider. All right, guys, that's it for the backyard mowing. We're going to go ahead and jump on the weed eater now. So we're going to weed eat an edge. We'll do some of that on video. Then we're going to blow off and go home. Get this yard done about an hour and a half. 50 bucks. It's a hard 50 bucks. Push mower type mower. Hasn't been cut in a month. But you know the story of this guy. And if you don't, make sure you check out the video where I weed eated this guy's entire backyard and front yard for him for completely free after two years of no help. Um, he's in a wheelchair with cancer. He lost a leg. So, you know, check that video out. It's pretty cool. Front yard, backyard, episode one, episode two. Uh, but let me go ahead and put the mower away and I'll get on the weed eater. Yes, sir. How are you? You okay? Thank you. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna weed eat and edge. Yeah, I'll clean it up really nice now. Okay. Be careful for your eyes, okay, when I work here. Yeah, be super careful. He's a nice guy. Probably really lonely. And that sucks. Go your whole life to die alone. Mm -mm -mm. what you call a dummy edge. I'm not actually 
getting it into the crack of the concrete. say how do you do this in shorts if you notice I'm weed eating I'm hitting the two o'clock position of the weed eater head which is blowing it out not back at me see okay that time it hit me it's called directional weed eating and I have all types of videos to teach you how to do it I actually think I, I invented the term directional weed eating. Probably not. You guys definitely want to learn how to weed eat. It is one of the most important uh, parts of lawn care. It truly sets you apart. Don't be afraid of it. Damn grounding cable just caught my my string. Nobody else does their ditches. I do. trying to manicure it just make it look good oh, see what I mean other people they don't do their ditches the other side there too I don't know why not well I think I know why it's so <laughs>
Now this is this is getting all over me. But it's just grass, weeds, no biggie. All right, you guys ready to tighten it up? All right, this is gonna be just about it for weed eating on video because my batteries are getting low. I wanna show you guys the finished product. Watch your eyeballs. course if this was wet or rocky in any way. I would have not I would not have pointed the, the debris at the shed. But he's actually standing at the door right here. Well he's not standing he's in a wheelchair. So I couldn't go the other way because it'll hit him. Well, so there you go, guys. We'll take a look at the finished product in just a minute. But look, man, just basic equipment. You saw what we started with, right? That was rough. That was a month in the southeast 
uh, of no cutting and a lot of rain and that was rough I had to go over it a few times I, I don't have the best mower here um, you know all I got a handheld blower and, and, a, and a not even a powerful weed eater just a good one a 91 a steel 91 with 80 thousandths line so hey you know uh, you can do it if I can do it at 51 you can do it And that's it guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. It felt good to be out here making a little extra cash, you know, helping somebody out, giving somebody a good deal, just using some basic equipment. I'm gonna go home and enjoy the rest of my day. I hope you guys do the same, and uh, I will see you on the next one.